What's up guys, it's Old Anthony, welcome back to the Civic Vlog that you hopefully know and hopefully love. Because in today's video, we're giving my Honda Civic an extreme engine bay detail. Let's go. guys and welcome back to another highly requested Honda Civic vlog where in today's video we're giving this thing an extreme detail it's been far too long since I've cleaned the engine bay on this car right here now the white Honda Civic got a ton of love with that engine bay detail granted it was absolutely filthy I mean seriously that was like kind of worst case scenario however this right here isn't so bad, but it has been neglected. In my previous video where I gave you guys a walk around of this car showing you all the eBay and junkyard parts, I kind of popped the hood and I was embarrassed. I looked at this and I said, Anthony, this isn't what you preach. You preach clean and this is the opposite of that. And so you can see here, I got a lot of grime over the years that has just built up and I'll give you guys some more detailed shots here in a bit, but I do want to give this thing a complete detail. And so we're going to be going in depth here with all the cool shots you guys want to see from the camera. Now, however, while the shots are going to be detailed, I'm not going to be explaining everything in excruciating detail like I normally do. Otherwise, this is going to be like a three hour video. So with that said, I do have some products over here I'm going to go over really, really quick. So for this, for the main cleaning power, I'm going to be using Magic Wheel Cleaner like I used with the White Civic, and I'm going to be using an APC called Optimum Power Clean that I've already diluted, I think three to one. So I'm going to go for some stronger stuff here. Now, I'm going to try something I've never done before, but I kind of have a theory on this, which is using this DuPont chain and sprocket degreaser. Why am I using this? This stuff literally melts grime off. It melts grime off of motorcycles, so I thought maybe why not try it on the transmission or try it on somewhere on the block to see if it works as well. So that's kind of a theory I'm testing. We'll see how that goes. Now, to top everything off, after I go through with brushes and uh, I got a nylon brush here, detail factory brush, some bigger brushes, I'm going to be dressing the engine bay with some Meguiar's hyper dressing. Now, normally I would use the Koch Chemi motor plast that I used on the white Civic. However, um, I checked my cabinets and I'm out. So I grab this and this will do the job. We'll wet everything down, spray that on, let it bake, and then open up the uh, engine bay to a nice, beautiful finish. I think it's gonna be awesome. So anyways, that's just a couple of the things I'm gonna be using today. Again, I kinda of wanna focus more on the shots rather than explaining everything as I think you guys will get um, a better understanding of what I'm doing. So with that said, we're gonna pull this thing outside, grab some before shots. I'm gonna fire up the pressure washer and get started. All right, so as you can see, there is a fine layer of dirt on pretty much everything. Now, is it as dirty as the white Civic? By no means. However, the lighting is not really doing me any favor because the camera's not picking up everything. It's not hitting it like it would maybe on sunrise or at sunset right now. So you'll have to trust me when I say it is dirty. So uh, with that said now, first things we need to do, uh, we're gonna mask off the intake filter here. We're gonna mask off the distributor with a garbage bag. And then I'm also gonna mask off the battery because everybody just gave me crap last time and even though I know what I'm doing, I'll mask off the battery just for you. So uh, we're gonna fire up the pressure washer, get everything masked off, and jump into it. This is Huck. Some people want to see my dogs, and so this is one of them. Here comes the other one. I'm gonna be covered in dog hair, huh? That's Baylor. This is Huck. These are my good boys. 
All right, so before I jump on the pressure washer, I'm gonna start pre-treating everything that's just super grimy first. So for example, here below the headers on the block, the transmission, anything like that, I'm gonna start pre-treating uh, with this degreaser to see if it actually does anything or if I'm full of it. I have no idea. I, I, I have a theory that it'll work, but who knows? So then I'm gonna use the APC to knock out any moderate to light dirt areas and pre-treat it with this. Um, I think having some dwell time on here will also help substantially. So starting down here first, where you can't see on the other camera, I'm gonna take my DuPont degreaser, give it a shake, <laughs> and uh, just start kind of spraying the bottom of the uh, block here. Anything that's just super grimy. Like I said, I think this is gonna do a good job or I could be absolutely full of it. What's funny is that here on the uh, the block, you can't even see the D16 white logo because it's just covered in maybe oil seepage from over the last who knows how many years. I've never really given it a deep clean like this, so let's hope we can bring it back to a, a decent state. Now, one thing I wanna point out is I'm never going to be directly spraying into the alternator, right? A lot of people will point out, you don't wanna get the alternator wet, I agree. So that's why when I'm rinsing everything, I'm going to try to avoid that area as much as I can. So I'm just kinda of spray around it. If it hits a little bit, it's not a big deal, but I don't wanna directly force water into the alternator. We're gonna set that aside and start treating everything else with the power clean. Oh yeah, dude, just the spray from the power clean alone is, you can kind of see down there, it's already showing the, uh, the Y8 logo. So that's gonna clean up the block and the trans nicely. Spray into down there. Like I said, I've taken good care of the car. It's never, you know, been off-road or whatever, like the white Civic, but I mean, you know, who knows? Down the road, maybe I'll have a, an off-road Civic build. That would be kind of wild, right? All right, so I think we're in a good spot here. I'm gonna let it dwell for just another minute or two, and then we're gonna grab the pressure washer and just start laying it on. And I'm hoping a lot of this grime lifts up immediately, but of course, we're gonna have to take some brushes, really kind of get in there, scrub some stuff as well. Like I said, that nylon brush down here, I think will do some serious work. Uh, the biggest thing to be cognizant of is overspray, right? So my car is ceramic coated, so if anything gets on it, such as you know an APC, it's not gonna really harm it. But if your car is just waxed or whatever, you'll probably have to re-wax the front of your car because after you get done doing this, it's gonna strip everything off. So uh, with that said, start the pressure washer. All right, so next up is Magic Wheel Cleaner. So again, the reason why I like using this stuff is because A, it's got some strong detergents in there, and also because it's got the fall remover built in. So it's gonna remove any type of embedded uh, metal particulates in either in the paint or just on other surfaces. Uh, and typically that'll turn purple once it does that. So we're gonna give this a pre-spray and then start agitating everything with a brush.
I just realized I got so in the zone that I forgot to put on gloves. So this is something you probably want to do if you're using some pretty strong cleaners like I'm using. Um, do as I say, not as I do, right? Put on gloves. So uh, anyways, so far so good. We've knocked out pretty much this side of the engine. Um, I think it's going okay. I really won't know until I rinse everything uh, and then dry everything. I, I have a feeling it's going to look good. The hardest areas to get to are, of course, the intake manifold. Um, the strut bar is not doing me any favors, but I really don't want to remove that, mainly for the fact that I, I just don't want to remove it. So I'm um, kind of going around it, working working around it with the brushes I have, and so far so good. Um, the part I'm really not looking forward to is going to be down here um, towards the uh, bottom of the block here and then the transmission. And so we'll kind of have to see how things look then. Um, but I mean, so far so good. I, I really can't complain. I think it's going to clean up pretty nicely. <clears throat> I need to still get to underneath the fender here because a lot of this gunk keeps kind of flowing out from the fender onto kind of this strut bar area here in the engine bay. And so I'm going to try to get under there with the brushes uh, the best I can. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's going to look pretty good. Well, let's keep going. All right, guys, so I think I've pretty much scrubbed everything I could possibly reach. Uh, there's certain things I can't see just because they're wet. Um, so I'm going to rinse everything off. I'm going to switch out my nozzle and the pressure washer so I have some uh, more power just to blast everything off. So maybe like a 15 degree or something. I uh, just kind of keep my distance. So um, yeah, we're going to rinse it, see how it looks. And uh, then from there, I'm actually gonna wash the car just because, I, again, I have all this stuff all over the car. So I'm gonna give it a quick wash, um, kind of let it set up. What I'm gonna do is after I rinse everything, I'm going to spray everything down with the hyper dressing, wash the car, let it sit, pull the car in, and then touch up any areas as needed. All right, so I probably should have thought about this, but when I went to go wash the car using the pressure washer and foam cannon, I somehow got foam in the engine bay, which I just dressed, so not ideal. So it looks fantastic, it looks great. I removed the bag off the air filter, the distributor, the battery. I think it's gonna continue to look amazing, but what I need to do is get this into the garage so it can continue to bake and I can clean up all this foam and touch up any areas that's needed. So uh, let's pull it in. All right, guys, so we got the Civic back in the garage and underneath these lights, this thing's looking, I mean, pretty damn good, guys. I mean, for what it is, I know it's still drying, it still has some work to do, but I mean, I mean I'm mean, i looking down here, like, well, that's clean, that's clean, that's clean under there. 
I think that dressing is going to continue to set up and look awesome. But I was doing some thinking, right? I started this video by calling this, what, an extreme engine bay detail, is that what I said? Something like that. And so far I haven't really gone like extreme. I've done probably more than most detailers would do in terms of all the brush work and everything like that. Most people just pressure wash it and call it good. Uh, so what I'm doing now, I'm heating up the steamer. And we're going to go through and I'm going to steam the distributor and steam any other parts that I couldn't quite get to. I'll, I'll steam the damn battery, right, if, I, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm just going to try to get in there and work anything else that I missed because, I mean, for what it's worth, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Um, but I still want to touch up some more areas with some dressing, uh, get everything kind of nice and even. But... Uh, I don't know, you guys let me know what you think. I mean, so far so good, right? So I'm gonna take a bead maker or a quick detailer to the top of the hood. I don't like to dress this. Some people will spray a dressing on the top of the hood and it shines it up, but like, I don't know, I don't think it needs it. So I'm just gonna spray it down with something, call it good. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna wait for that to warm up, throw the GoPro on and get to steaming. So what I'm gonna do for here is down by the distributor, I'm going to spray a little bit more all-purpose cleaner, just in the areas that I kind of missed. Lay that on there. And again, this is one of those places where you don't want to soak because the distributors on old Civics do not like to get super wet. Now using steam should be fine because it's kind of like dry cleaning. It doesn't get super, super wet. So I'm gonna spray everything down here, take my brush, and I have my steamer. Now what I also did, you can see underneath my car, I laid like a capture mat for anything that's gonna continue to drip or anything that is going to drip that might stain my concrete. So anyways, let's jump into it. Right, guys so all the touch-up work is done I went inside for a little bit ate some food hung out it's been about I don't know two hours or so which means it's time to see how good or how bad this thing looks so pop that hood
Well guys, I would say I deserve a beer after this. Maybe even two, because this turned out pretty damn good. That dressing set up beautifully, and that's what I love about water-based dressings. The fact that you can just spray it on, walk away, pop the hood, and come back to this. So all the paint looks really enriched, really shiny, really glossy. All of the tubes and plastics and all the black pieces are darkened and conditioned. Again, I, I love water-based dressings for this reason. It really makes things easy for me. So um, I had to put in all the grunt work, right? I had to put in the elbow grease to scrub everything, but it's well worth it. You know, it's all about the prep and then uh, enjoying the final outcome. So I would say I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Now, if I were to go back and do anything different, I probably should have removed the strut bar. That was a pain in the ass to work around it, and I probably could have even gotten a deeper clean. I should have done it, but hey, it is what it is. I also could have just completely removed the intake and then just masked it off of the manifold fold that would have been another option but I mean hey I have multiple brushes for a reason to get into all those tight cracks and crevices but I mean needless to say I'm super stoked with how this turned out. Now, a couple other things on the list for this car that I'm not gonna do in today's video is I need to give this thing an oil change. I wanna throw some of that Tecron complete fuel system cleaner through it because I think it made a pretty big difference on the uh, Dodge Ram. I, either it was a placebo effect or it actually did make a difference. So I wanna throw some of that through here when I'm close to an empty tank. So um, I have some of that sitting over here, but the hyper dressing, man, again, like I said, I like the Coach Chemi Motorplast. I think it's a great product, but I mean, on a whim, just going to the store and picking that up, I think it sets up beautifully. So hopefully this lasts for a while. And then from here, all I really need to do is just some touch up detail if I keep up on it and maintain it. So um, with that said, I'm pretty stoked, right? I think it looks pretty good. And uh, in the future, whoever knows what happens with this car or the engine or you know whatever's on my list, I have no idea. I thought I had a plan and then the pandemic happened and the prices started going through the roof and then I didn't have a plan anymore. Uh, so with that said, I would rather down the road work on a clean engine bay uh, than a dirty one in one shape or form. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the outcome. Go clean the engine bay of your Civic. Do it. I know you've been putting it off just like I have and uh, trust me, it'll be worth it because this looks absolutely fantastic. So with that said, if you guys love the Honda Civic content. Make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Salt Anthony.